Okay, so today didn't get uh, too much done. Um, weathered it up a little bit more. I got the uh, the corrugated uh, steel part. I got that orcified. Um, decided to go with the uh, checkered pattern up there and uh, put an orc skull and crossbones on there to kind of let uh, people know what it is. Um, those are the from the uh, the decal sheet. What I did is I uh, I, I used the uh, I didn't have any of the micro uh, set or the micro saw. Uh, I ran out of that, but I had some uh, stuff for my other modeling stuff. It's uh, it's called Model Master, and there's uh, the decal setting for general use, and there's the decal solvent for complex surfaces. So what I did is I flooded after I soaked I put the the decal in water for oh, about 15 20 seconds and then uh, set it on a paper towel and then while that was uh, setting up a little bit I flooded the area I wanted to put the decal on with the uh, general purpose one. Uh, I then slid the, the uh, decal on into there and conformed it as best as possible to what I was putting on. The hardest one was the checkerboard because of where the dirt was. I wanted to make it kind of look like it was uh, uh, it was on there and it, you know, it, when it fell off the, the dirt kind of buried into it a little bit. So what I had to do is I actually had to apply the whole decal on there and then it, uh, once I put the, uh, the solvent on there it conformed to the, uh, the various undulations of the dirt and whatnot so I could follow it with a very sharp brand new uh, number 11 blade and kind of carefully picked it around the dirt so that uh, it fit in there and then I gave it a wash once it was dry I gave it a wash with some black along the edge just to hide where there was any uh, where it peeled back a little bit um, and then uh, after when it, well, to, I, I'm getting a little ahead of myself uh, once I put the solvent on there um, I brush it on and then I'll take a, uh, a cotton swab and I'll, I'll dab it off a little bit uh, so I don't want it flooded and I'll just let it set um, and it shrinks to the 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 contours of the uh, of the model and then if it's still sticking up or if there's air bubbles um, I take the very tip of the number 11 and I just poke a real small hole and then I, I dab it with a, a brush full of the uh, solvent and let it set and it usually uh, settles it down but uh, this works out really great it uh, I had to uh, I had to uh, do that a little bit with the with the checkers but when you when you cut your your decal out now this is done with an 11 a number 11 blade I follow as close to the outline of the the decal itself so that there's no uh, clear part on the outside and then that way once the, the solvent what it does is it just sucks it right down into the paint and that it looks like it's painted on. So I did the same thing with the uh, the skull. Um, now I've got uh, a couple of washes on there to kind of dirty it up a little bit. I still have to do some uh, some chips and some uh, some rust on there and whatnot. And then uh, unfortunately you're not going to see the whole skull once it's uh, once I put the figure on here. I'll show you. I can do this one-handed. Basically it's going to end up looking something like this where you have it out of focus and you can't see what's going there we go um, it's going to look like that so he's got his foot squarely planted on the on the skull and then uh, you can kind of see so it's it's a small area but it'll give the feel that it came off a piece of orc equipment and orcs are going to be their number one nemesis so and I still have to take and uh, Dirty up the uh, dirty up the armor and, and put some mud effects and some some dust and whatnot on there. So tomorrow is the weathering portion of everything. So all the bases are complete except for the I got I got to paint the edges still, but uh, that's a, that's the last thing I do once I get everything done. Uh, so basically I've got everything pretty much completed. What I what I set out to what I set out to do except for the apothecaries and uh, nothing I could do about that so um, Mateo uh, was the one that suggested me uh, making this into an P 
piece of work equipment and um, I really liked his uh, idea and I think it turned out really well so uh, Mateo thank you very much um, it was a good idea um, so we'll get to oh by the way the uh, the zombies are, are, are gone uh, I took those back I did some more research on them and quite honestly um, they weren't worth the effort and if I gave them away, I'd feel guilty about giving some uh, something of that low quality away. So uh, I turned those in, and I didn't get uh, a refund. I could only get store credit, so uh, which is fair. And what I did is I took uh, I took that credit, and I applied it to a uh, Devastator. I'm sorry, an Assault Marine squad. So I'll have my uh, assault squad done for these guys now, and I decided to go ahead and pick up the bike anyways because I want to use that as a test uh, uh, for the color, see what kind of color scheme I can come up with the bike. So those will be uh, in uh, videos coming up soon. Um, so I'm at least going to keep some stuff that's going to keep my sanity going. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll have a, a finished product for you on the next video, and. Uh, I appreciate all the, the comments that have been coming through, so uh, uh, please comment and uh, like and uh, pass the word out and uh, have people check it out. Uh, I really, uh, like I said, the, the support that uh, I've been getting from uh, everybody on their comments has been nothing but positive. It's, it's kept me going on a couple of times when I really didn't feel like uh, continuing, so I've, uh, I've got the 40K bug. It's going to take a 12-step program to get it off of me now. So uh, we'll, we'll see what comes out in the future and hopefully soon I can arrange to get some sort of camera so I can get a, uh, some better pictures for you. So uh, again, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Uh, till then, ciao.